yeah, a bit of introduction for those that watch on replay or are watching now and don't know who I am. Hello, I am Ligia and I'm the owner and artist behind Oh Good Idea, where I design stickers and stationery for your journals and for your planners uh, so that you can be more productive and live a more happy life. Uh, I'm also a mindfulness and journaling coach and my aim is to help you heal your emotions, your thoughts and your feelings through the power of journaling. <laughs> journaling is like going to the gym. If you think about it, the journal, you can compare it to a membership you do to your gym. To the gym, local gym. You buy the, mem the membership with the best intention to do something with your health, physical health. You might have a bigger goal of, okay, I'm joining the gym because I want to lose weight or I want to get fit uh, or I want to, you know, strengthen my muscles. You know, can be anything. You buy a journal or notebook or planner with intention to write on it. You can even go far and say, okay, I have the intention to use the journal, this journal to record my emotions on my spiritual journey or, you know, COVID-19, you know, whatever that is. The thing is, the same way a journal is for a gym, journaling is the same thing as going to the gym and doing the work. So you might have the most expensive membership on a gym or go to do a membership on the most expensive gym around. But if you don't take the action and go to the gym and do the workout and do the classes, you are not going to achieve your goal. You know, you're not going to lose the weight, you're not going to get fitter, you're not going to strengthen your muscles. The same thing with journaling. You can have the most expensive, beautiful, shiny, spanky journal you could afford. But if you don't take action and do the work and write on your journal, regularly, I'm not even saying every day, I'm saying regularly and use it, you are not going to achieve your goals. Emotional goals. This is not physical, but it's emotional, which is so, so important as well. I would say is equally or even more important that, than physical, um, you know, health. It's related. One is related to the other. And sometimes we strengthen our physical muscle, but we don't strengthen our mental mu muscle. And both need that exercise. So journaling is the exercise of strengthening your mindset muscle that will allow you to heal and stay, stay stronger mentally. So it's the same thing. And uh, when I had this analogy, this, you know, in my dream, I was like, I have to write about this, you know, this is so strong. And I'm going to stick to it because I really love the analogy. If you compare it, it's exactly that. It is exactly that. You know, you can journal occasionally, but it's not, although it's, you know, it's helpful, it's not going to do the healing, the proper healing and personal growth that you would do if you journal regularly. So, you know, I advise people to start, you know, when they are starting to journal, to, to do at least 10 minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes a day. If you don't want to do it a day, I would say half an hour a week you block half an hour a week for you. Obviously, if you like and if you need to journal, if you have that need, do it whenever, you know, it's, it's not gonna do any harm. 
unless it's something really painful. Obviously, you know, there has to be guidance. And one thing that I want to be clear about is that journaling, although it's a beautiful, powerful healing tool for mental health and strong emotions and feelings and thoughts, it doesn't never substitute professional therapy. So if any of you that are hearing this, either live or replay, if you suffer from depression, anxiety, or other mental health, and you've been actually diagnosed with that, please, please, please do not substitute um, therapy with journaling. You can use, and you should use, journaling along therapy. But the kind of journaling I'm talking about is for those that might have mild symptoms of uh, depression and anxiety, like I, well, I do have chronic anxiety and I've done therapy years and years ago. But I'm on a, on a different place because I've done the therapy. Uh, but, you know, if you are on that, you know, dark side of depression or you felt very lost because of your anxiety, it does help but you need the therapy so you can work on your, you know, deeper, on a deeper level on what's going on that's causing those, um, you know, those feelings. But that was just, you know, to clear out because I'm, <laughs> I'm a coach, I'm not a therapist. I'll do, although I know a lot, but I, I don't advise on that. I'm just advising using journaling to when you have a personal goal, emotional goal, behavior goal, if you want to improve something, when you want to improve something that you're not happy with, if you feel like you are stressed out every single day and you've got enough of that, journaling helps. It helps also if you have anxiety to record if you have panic attacks to record the panic attacks you have like record the date record what happened the feelings that you had what have you experienced because panic attacks might differ depends on the severity of it and that's a good way of you having data to show to your therapist uh, or to your GP if you want to need a referral. That's data there, that's information that, that you have for you and for seeking professional therapy that they can you know, work along with it. 